Thomas Anderson was the sixth integral anomaly of the Matrix, the one who must choose to sacrifice Zion to ensure the ongoing existence of humanity. But just as there have been six anomalies in six Matrix cycles, there must have been six red pill teams that helped set anomalies. What happened to them? The Matrix is full of unanswered questions. Thus, this series of videos was created to help answer as many of those questions submitted by our members and subscribers. Are you curious? Then welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Before we begin today's video, we would like to announce the giveaway of the Matrix Comics 20th Anniversary Edition. Co-created by the Wachowskis, it's a collection of short stories within the Matrix universe. We will also be giving away an original Matrix poster, signed by Matrix Explained, and a limited edition Matrix 300 piece puzzle. For your chance to win these prizes, please be subscribed to this channel, leave a like on this video, and leave in the comments section what will you pick the red or blue pill, and why. The winner will be announced on May 4th. Today's first question comes from Philip Conboy. Do we know anything about the past crews that might have helped previous anomalies? Was there possibly other versions of Morpheus and Trinity helping the previous anomalies too? The objective of the anomaly, that is Neo, was to insert the anomaly's code to the prime program of the source and restart the matrix. Zion would be destroyed, and Neo would have to choose the new founders of the next Zion. As a result, the people who aided the previous anomalies were killed by the machines. The destruction of the previous cities of Zion was part of the cycle, so those red pills had no chance of survival. Now there is a possibility that the red pills are clones that are reborn in each matrix cycle, which means that other versions of Morpheus and Trinity may have existed. It's not clear in the Matrix universe if each human connected to the simulation is truly unique or distinct, or if they are repeated. In other words, clones. We can only theorize that humans are being cloned. In one of the Matrix comic books, Morpheus visited the house of a blue pill who wanted a new entertainment center. Morpheus was sent to this individual's house by the Oracle to send the blue pill to meet the keymaker and then the architect. This comic is a parody but it made us wonder if this Morpheus was from another simulation. Perhaps this is the reason why Lawrence Fishburne is not in Matrix 4. Because if the Matrix was restarted and we are in the seventh simulation, we might see a younger Morpheus following the same path of finding the one. There are rumors that actor Yahya Abdul-Mateen II could be playing a young Morpheus. It would be an interesting plot twist if the characters were to discover that they are clones serving the same predestined purpose set by the machines. Just as the integral anomaly has appeared six times already, so has Morpheus, Trinity, and others. Maybe, as we've mentioned in other videos, this is a viable possibility as it would ensure that the equation continues to work properly, cloning the same humans and repeating the same cycle over and over again. Our next question comes from Yero's Sile. A good question to ask, how did Morpheus know Neo would see the rabbit tattoo on the girl's body? It's been bothering me since forever. The only explanation I see is she was in on it. An actual undisclosed resistance red pill? Actually, the person whom we believe hacked into Neo's computer was not Morpheus, but Trinity. Trinity was the one who told Neo to follow the white rabbit. Though later on, Morpheus does refer to the event when he offers Neo the pills. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. In Neo's introduction scene, when he is sleeping in front of his computer, Trinity somehow knew that one of his visitors had a tattoo of a white rabbit, and so she told the Neo to follow her. Right before Neo's client arrived, Trinity typed the words, Knock Knock Neo. So how did she know? At the beginning of the movie, when police are sent after Trinity, 
If you pause the movie at the right time, you can see images of Neo on the computer monitor. Trinity has been investigating and surveilling Neo for some time, learning about his life, his routine, and who his contacts and clients were. She knew that Choi was a client and that his girlfriend De Jour had a tattoo of a white rabbit. Trinity was waiting for them to go to Neil's apartment and invite him to the club. Now everything does sound too coincidental. It is possible that Trinity intercepted the group before meeting with Neo and made a deal with them to make sure to show Neo the tattoo and invite him to go with them. Who knows? They could have been undercover red pills. The true meaning behind this scene is to establish from the very beginning that Neo was being controlled and that all the events and actions around him were predetermined. And our last question of the day comes from Gfish17. Will Sati become the new architect or take the Oracle's job as originally assumed? We don't believe that Sati's purpose is to become the next Oracle or architect. The Oracle clearly said that Sati would change the future of both worlds. I can't tell you why, but I believe that one day, the child will change both our world and your world forever. Her purpose goes beyond that of the oracles, which is to understand humanity, and the architect who only wishes to balance the matrix equation. We believe that Sati is destined to be a new anomaly created by the oracle, one that seeks to unify the matrix and the real world, ultimately bringing peace to both worlds, a real and everlasting peace. Though, of course, it is possible that Sati's purpose is to become a weapon to fulfill the Oracle's wishes, which are to conquer both worlds. Sati is not the next Oracle or Architect, but perhaps something more powerful and dangerous. But do you agree? What happened to the Once companions from the previous simulations? Are the humans from the simulation clones being reborn in each Matrix cycle? Did Trinity hire Choi and Azure to trick Neo? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.